Hello, this is National Medical Clinic, and we're welcoming you to our brief video presentation on HCG therapy to increase natural testosterone production in men. This therapy is offered by our network physicians throughout the United States, and it is a therapy for men who want to rely primarily or in part upon naturally produced testosterone to elevate their testosterone level. This natural production of testosterone is supplemented by uh, testosterone medication and anastrozolone. The supplemental testosterone medication allows the doctor a variable to adjust to ensure that the patient's testosterone level is properly elevated to an optimum level within the normal reference range for the laboratory's testing. The anastrozolone is a medication that prevents the aromatase conversion of testosterone to estrogen because we do not want a patient's increased testosterone level to be converted to estrogens because that causes adverse side effects. Therefore, from the commencement of therapy, the patient's taking three medications, the HCG therapy, to increase the natural testosterone production. HCG um, is supplemented again by the testosterone medication, which may be a gel, cream, or injectable and the anastrozole is simply a tablet. So there's always three medications involved in a National Medical Clinic HCG therapy to increase natural production because a man's body is only capable of producing so much additional testosterone when it's stimulated by HCG. And it's usually, although beneficial, it's insufficient alone to elevate the testosterone level to a optimum level that dynamically changes the lifestyle, the quality of life of the individual, and keeps them yet within the normal range. Therefore, when someone at the National Medical Clinic is speaking to you about HCG therapy, HCG is the primary medication, and the other two medications are provided to achieve treatment objectives and to prevent um, the conversion of your testosterone to estrogen. When undergoing HCG therapy, there are two treatment objectives in terms of laboratory tests, and those treatment objectives are as follows. We'd like to see the male patient in the upper third of the reference range for free testosterone for all male patients after treatment commences. We don't want the patient above the reference range of the normal range because that would diminish natural testosterone production as a result of the treatment. And of course, we don't want it low because that's not the purpose of the treatment. The purpose of the treatment is to increase natural testosterone production and elevate testosterone in the blood. The second objective is to keep the patient's estradiol level, which refers to estrogens in the blood, within the normal reference range for men while they're on treatment. And so we also test estradiol in addition to free testosterone. These tests are administered usually in the fourth and eighth week after a patient commences uh, HCG therapy. And the doctor then treating the patient will adjust the medications appropriately so that the free testosterone range is optimum level within the normal range and that the estradiol level is within the normal range for adult men as tested by the testing laboratory. This may require adjustments to both the testosterone medication and the anastrozole medication to secure these treatment objectives. Therefore, there is another test four weeks later to see how this uh, process has evolved and how the patients responded to this, these adjustments. And the purpose of the doctor is to achieve those two treatment objectives and to avoid adverse side effects. These cannot be achieved without testing the patient while they're on therapy. Uh, patients ask why HCG therapy is effective in elevating their testosterone level. Well, HCG is approved for this medical purpose. It's approved for the purpose because it mimics luteinizing hormone. It mimics luteinizing hormone, which normally is released by the pituitary gland. It's part of your endocrine system, if you're a male. And the luteinizing hormone stimulates the testes to produce increased testosterone. As the luteinizing hormone declines with age or genetic design, then the natural testosterone level of the male declines. To avoid this decline and to counterbalance it, HCG injections are introduced. They're done with a small diabetic insulin syringe 
in the quadriceps muscles, or the thigh muscles of the male patient. The body responds to HCG injections, just as it does to luteinizing hormone secretions by the pituitary gland, because HCG mimics LH in the human body, in the male body. HCG is also used in female treatments too, but the subject of this video is male HCG therapy. And so the HCG, by mimicking LH, stimulates the testes to produce more natural testosterone levels. The increased natural testosterone production contributes to male fertility, provided the male has a sufficient level of follicle stimulating hormone, or FSH, in their bloodstream. To increase um, medic male fertility, a patient needs both um, sufficient levels of luteinizing hormone, or LH, and follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, in their bloodstream. And so HCG alone will not increase male fertility unless the patient already has a sufficient level of follicle stimulating hormone or FSH and is otherwise physically able to um, increase uh, sperm production or spermogenesis. So the purpose of this treatment alone is not to increase male fertility. You will only do that if you already have, as a male, sufficient FSH. The purpose of this treatment is to increase your testosterone level as a male patient when that increased level is in part attributable to natural production, so that you're less dependent on the testosterone medication for your elevated testosterone level. It is also designed to protect you from estrogen conversions. There you have an ideal system, where you raise your testosterone level to the extent your body's capacity to increase natural production as a result of stimulation of testes by the HCG injections. You supplement it with testosterone, to elevate your level to an optimum range, level within the re reference range for normal adult males, and you have the anastrozole again to avoid converting your testosterone to estrogens. These treatments range in from 20 weeks to 50 weeks and are available through National Medical Clinic. We have several other treatments. We have 36 different testosterone therapy programs for men. We have weight loss, of course. We have hair growth for men and bioidentical hormone therapy for women. So we have several medical programs. But the HCG or the natural testosterone therapy is, is popular because then the men can rely in part upon their natural production and are less dependent upon the drug. If you'd like more information about HCG therapy to increase natural testosterone production in men, you can go to our website, testosteronetherapy.com or nationalmedicalclinic.com. Again, testosteronetherapy.com or nationalmedicalclinic.com both have information on testosterone therapy uh, for men and HCG therapy to increase natural testosterone production, HCG weight loss, biomedical hormone therapy for men, for women, biomedical hormone therapy for women, and uh, our hair growth for men and our other medical treatments. If you want more information, uh, there is this video presentation on various treatments on the websites. This video presentation will be on both the testosterone site and the uh, nationalmedicalclinic.com site so that uh, if you want to refer back to it, you just click on the link HCG therapy, it'll take you to the HCG therapy treatments and this video presentation will be located at that location. Um, it'll also be on YouTube and Facebook. So we're glad to provide you with this information. Finally, uh, to secure more detailed information or to enroll in a medical treatment and be referred to a physician in the United States for medical treatment, evaluation, diagnostic testing by a medical laboratory in your area, please call 800-582-0095. That's 800-582-0095. And um, if you call that number, we'll be glad to help you. Uh, we uh, provide uh, information to patients and prospective patients. 1 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. Voicemails can be left 24 hours a day and they're converted to text emails by our system and sent to us. But if you'd like to speak to a, a, a human being, then please call 1 to 6 p.m. And you can ask uh, for the Director of Patient Services, myself, or a medical counselor, whoever's available. And we'll be glad to answer your questions. And if you want to enroll in treatment, we'll describe the different treatments available which are uh, several, and uh, 
then uh, enroll you in treatment and cross your your enrollment and get you started. Once you're enrolled in treatment, you'll be sent lab test requisitions for your local lab test. You'll be sent a confirmation as to what your treatment includes, and you will be referred to a treating doctor. In addition to that, uh, you'll be scheduled for a physical exam and evaluation by your treating doctor, who will look at your medical history, your lab tests, and your physical exam results. And if it indicated, do a diagnosis and prescribe treatment. Thank you very much for contacting National Medical Clinic.